Today we're going to be taking a look at the Command LED trailer taillights for the driver's side. These are available with either a black or white base. You can also purchase these for the passenger side. These DOT compliant LED lights are going to give you your brake lights, your right turn signal, your left turn signal, and your running lights. The driver's side is going to feature a license plate bracket and a license plate light. You will have to provide your own hardware to mount your license plate. Each light features 22 LED diodes. LEDs can last up to 50 times longer than incandescent bulbs. This means you won't have any bulbs to replace, and they're going to provide a brighter light with less power. The overall dimensions are 8 and 11 16 of an inch long, 3 and 13 16 of an inch tall, and 2 inches deep. These are going to be great for your camper or trailer. There are non-submersible lights, so don't put them on your boat trailer. Please note that the driver and passenger side are sold separately. Many customers are using these to upgrade their traditional incandescent lights. Compared to incandescent lights, these will last longer, use less power, and there are no bulbs to replace. Now that we've got all the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. Here's what our old incandescent taillight looks like. We're going to be upgrading it to LED. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and take off the cover, and we can do this by using a flathead screwdriver. We're going to push in on the tab and then take the cover off. Now we're gonna remove the hardware. We're gonna save our screws because our new light does not come with. With our hardware removed, we can go ahead and take it off and expose our wiring. As you can see, around the edge, we had some leftover caulk. We'll need to make sure that's nice and clean before we replace it with our new light. Now our old light used quick splice connectors. We're gonna be using butt connectors, so we'll need to cut all of these out. We're gonna cut here. in here cool now I'm gonna strip back these wires and then add on my butt connectors if you need some butt connectors you can find them on our website at eTrailer.com just stripping them back just a little ways then with my double green wires I'm just gonna make sure to twist them together a little bit a butt connector, make sure it's all the way on, and then crimp it together. And then I'll do the same for the rest of my wires. Now let's bring in our new light. I've already gone ahead and removed the lens. My white is my ground, my red is my break and turn, and my brown is my running lights. I'm gonna connect white to white. Make sure it's good and crimped and then red to red. And then finally, brown to green. And then we can test it out. Here's our running lights, our turn signal, and our brake. With everything working properly, we can tuck our wires back in. Now you'll wanna be sure that our tabs are facing down for our license plate hold it in place, and since it was a replacement, it's the same size as our light, we can just put our hardware back in the same holes. I'll get one started, and then I'll just work my way around. Then we can place on our lens. Now our passenger side installs the same way. The only difference is there's no license plate light or bracket. Make sure it snaps in on both sides, and then we've got it. This is our passenger side. If you'd like to, you can run some caulk around the edges just to keep that water and moisture out. With both lights working, we're all set. And that completes our look at the Command LED trailer taillights in either black or white for the driver and passenger side.